Sarah, you. All right. I'm basically going to teach you a rough outline of the sport of football or known as in America, soccer. So first things first, the soccer field is 115 yards in length and then about 74 yards wide. So it's a little bit wider than a football field, but just short of a football field. Then some basic equipment, you need a soccer ball. This, they vary in sizes, this is a size five. So this is what high schoolers would use. And one thing to note about it is that the outside is soft, so that way you won't cause any permanent head damage when you headbutt it. It's <laughs> <laughs> more socks. Thing is uh, yeah. soccer shoes, otherwise known as boots. And one thing that's cool about them is the laces, they go along the sides. So when you kick a ball, you use the inside of it, so the laces won't get in the way. And the other thing is a shin guard, which most pros don't have this ankle strap. This is just to protect the ankles. So that's what I wear. And soccer is a pretty physical sport. There's a lot of pushing, shoving, grabbing of jerseys. And so to help limit that, they came up with a two card system, a yellow card and a red card. You Normally start off with a warning if you slide tackle someone and it's kind of reckless. They'll just like give you a warning and the other team gets a free kick. If it's really reckless, they'll give you a yellow card. And if you get a second yellow card or it's super reckless and the person got injured, you will probably get a red card and leave the game. So you're basically ejected. And So the proper way to pass the ball is to use the inside of your foot right here, so right there. It gives you a little bit more control over the ball and you can even, if you get good at it, you can put spin on it. And then the proper way to shoot or to try and score a goal is to use this flat part. It's where you will generate most of your power. and give you a little bit more accuracy so the goalie can't really stop you. And one thing you should not do is toe it. So you hit it right here on your toe. That will cause the ball to go haywire and just go everywhere you don't want it to go. Really? Why is that? Because, well, I'm right footed. So if I were to kick it, I usually come out like this. Right. So if I kick it like that, yeah. the ball is like have spin on it. Gotcha. And if you kick it too much this way, it goes that way. And if you lean back and try and tow it, you're just sending it straight up in the air. Okay. And the turn to soccer is mostly a passing sport. It's team oriented, oriented. So sometimes you will have to dribble it to try and get open. And the proper way to dribble it is to keep it within two to three normal steps. That way the defender just can't like come over and got it. So. There's a lot to soccer, that's why I have this nice little paper. All right, if the ball goes across the sideline, it's a, if it went off to you, it's a throw in for the other team. And to do a throw in, your feet have to stay behind the white line, and both feet have to be planted. And it has to be two hands and overhead, so it has to go like that. And what a lot of people do is they'll get a running start so they can send it farther, and then they'll make like, they'll use their body as a catapult, basically. So they'll rock really far back and they'll just launch that sucker really far. What about the dudes who do the front flip? I'm not going to demonstrate that, <laughs> but that's like a super advanced version of just like sending. I've never seen anything like that. That is mind-boggling. You have to be really acrobatic to do that. And uh, yeah, like 
what Mr. Ghost was talking about, they'll take the ball and they'll basically plant it on the ground and do like a front flip type thing. So that way they have more catapult like feature to it so they can send it farther and faster. And if the offense tries to shoot it, like score a goal, but they miss and it goes out of bounds, it's just a goal kick for the other team. But if it goes out on the defense, it goes across that end line, it's a it's a corner kick. So the other team will get it on the corner. And it's a perfect setup for a set piece or like it's an out of bounds play basically in basketball. So they'll do some arm motion, like raise the right hand, left hand. Like when I played soccer, right hand was for a close kick, left hand was for a more farther kick. But in the upper leagues, like the Barclays Premier League in England, they'll do like, they have a whole lot of them. So they'll have like arms crossing, that's for like a certain player to like set a screen for someone. And it's pretty cool what they do. And so basically soccer is a like world renowned sport. It's physical and you guys have a passion for it in order to really understand it and play it, and know what everyone's doing. And when you get to the like I reference Mark Plays really because that's my favorite. I usually watch that Saturday mornings. No cartoons. But <laughs> they uh, each team is like well each club is like their own little country. They have their own anthem. So before kickoff everyone and the stands will sing it, and I just get chills every time. Because I just like to picture myself playing and having like everyone sing your anthem and to, like get pumped for a home game is really cool to watch and be a part of. And yeah. So I hope y'all learned a little something about football, aka soccer. Mm -hmm.